Your next comment comes all the way from uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. He's a two-time Ultimate Comment Challenge winner. Everybody give a round of applause for Jordan Fisher. This is awesome. This is a dope setup. Got these nice kegs and shit. And beautiful news anchor microphone. <laughs> Fly ass car I'm gonna steal. I'm not even gonna take their ears off that bitch. <laughs> a trophy. Hope y'all are having a good summer. You enjoying your summer? Good. I like the summer. It's fun. Still having problems with it though. It's too many attractive people in the summer. That bothers me. Just running around, roaming the streets, you know? I don't know where they hide during the winter. <laughs> Just hibernating in their organic soy milk baths or whatever. <laughs> and they come out. <laughs> it just make me nervous. Like, I see an attractive person approaching me on the sidewalk. My self esteem makes me cross the street. It's like, I can't even be. <laughs> Make you go into an expensive department store that you can't afford, but they can judge you because it's appropriate. <laughs> you can tell how expensive a department store is if they uh, hide the tags inside the shirt. And have that, go in there and gotta do a little scavenger hunt. <laughs> you gotta pull that out of there. You shouldn't be in that store. <laughs> like, they should just put like one of them old school toy voice boxes in the shirt. Whenever you pull it out, you broke, nigga. Just like. <laughs> You shouldn't be here. Matter of fact, just put like a die pack, like when you steal money from the bank, just poof, just... <laughs> There's that poor bastard right there, get the hell out of me! <laughs> having a good year, I hope y'all are having a good year. This year's going better than last year. Last year I uh, celebrated my 24th birthday, and I actually uh, broke my left leg on my birthday. Oh, yeah, wow. I, uh, I did this by going to a trampoline park. <laughs> yeah. Went to a trampoline park on my 24th birthday. Instead of going to a strip club like a real man, <laughs> I broke my damn leg. <laughs> I guess that's just something you gotta add to a list of things black people should not do. <laughs> like, we can jump. We just don't need assistance. <laughs> Like, there's a whole list of things we shouldn't do. First of all, trampolines, of course. Uh, swimming. Uh, calling the police. Uh, paintball. You know, things like this. I actually played paintball one time in my life, and I ended up getting banned from the paintball field because, according to them, I was playing paintball too black. Which I didn't know was possible. But apparently, it's against the rules to take the paintball gun and drive by real slow in a 93 Caprice. They don't like that. Scared the hell out of them kids. It was like boys in the hood. <laughs> take y'all through what happened on this particular incident. I was uh, gonna jump into a foam pit at the park, and when I jumped up, my leg said, Wah! and all my friends went, ooh. <laughs> And I said, ah. And I woke up in the hospital about four hours later. Woke up in the hospital about four hours later. When I woke up, can't make this up, woke up, I had a rainbow colored cast on. <laughs> a rainbow colored cast Like, what the hell did I do to earn that? <laughs> did I snore with a lisp? <laughs> yes, sleep is so delicious. <laughs> I had a rainbow colored cast on and a male nurse standing over me talking about, your cast is real cute, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> Scary thing breaking a leg. Scary thing breaking a limb in general. Any of y'all ever done that before? Broken a limb? Yeah. Woo! It's rough, man. It made me, you know, it, it frightened me because I've had insecurities all my life, you know, and I just didn't need to have this tacked on to the list of insecurities I already had, you know? Like, because all my life I got picked on for having these big ass horse teeth. I was laying there with my broke leg and my big ass horse teeth. And I started thinking, what if they put me down? Like, what if this is it? So, um, 
Negro's no good anymore. No one will take him out, Eustace. Black Negro's no good. Give good pain medicine, though, when you break a limb. That, ooh, wow. Mmm. I never even know. Smoke, drink, I don't really drink nothing like that, so you take prescription pain medicine. That shit, ooh. I had to be careful. I had to, like, wean myself off of it. Like, I felt like I was about to end up, like, one of them prom queens on intervention, you know? <laughs> on her 95 class photo. I used to be so pretty! Like, <laughs> like, I didn't realize how strong it was. Like, how much it took a toll on your mind and emotions till the other day I popped two Percocet and just cried my ass off watching Frozen. That shit's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool when your mom walks in on you crying watching Frozen with your dick in your hand. <laughs> Like, boy, what is wrong with you? You're so pretty, mom. Let it go! Okay. I don't want to the presidential election coming up. Y'all paying attention to that shit? No. There's too many people running for president this year. It's getting out of hand. Everybody wants to run for president. We got enough presidential candidates to start a new Wu Tang clan. This shit is. <laughs> See why anybody wants to be president anyway. It's not like anybody's ever come out the other end of that shit looking refreshed. That's a lot of fun. That Donald Trump acting the fool. I'm just waiting for him to take his toupee off and reveal that he's Charlie Sheen. So stupid. Everybody's dropping his uh partnerships and everything. Even the Serta mattress company dropped partnerships. <laughs> Damn, well, this dude even dream of becoming president. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he opened up his, his platform by saying, he was like, I am announcing my candidacy as president of the United States. And best believe, I'm gonna build a wall around Mexico. And best believe, they're gonna pay for it. <laughs> Then went on to call them a bunch of killers and rapists. <laughs> now, as a president, you should stand for all the ideals that this great country was built off of. And this great country was built off of killers and rapists. So I don't understand why he's got such a big problem. <laughs> These people. No, I'm gonna miss Obama. You know? That was the first dude I ever voted for. That was, a, that was a special time in my life. You know, I remember people asking me about it and everything. It's one dude in particular I'll never forget. He asked me, he's like, hey man, did you vote? And I was like, yeah. He's like, who'd you vote for? Obama. And I was like, yeah. He was like, why? Because he's black and Mitt Romney's not. And that hurt me a little bit in my heart and my soul. Not because he was right, um, but because he was Mexican. I was like, you ain't got shit to do with this, man. I was like, where's your green card? Can you vote? He pulled out, pulled out a pack of Uno. I was like, what the hell is this? It wasn't even a green card, it was a draw four. I was like, skip you. Uh, I think, uh, the reason why people, well, black people, we gotta stick with Obama regardless of what he does because we voted for that dude. You know? like, it doesn't matter what he does. He could bring back slavery on Thursday and we still have to be like, mm, it's a job, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why uh, general people stick with Obama is just because he's very, he's a very convincing man, you know? Like, he gets in front of the American audience, and the way he just delivers his speeches, it just grabs your attention. Because he, he puts little cliffhangers throughout his speeches. You ever notice that? He does that. He's always talking in pauses, you know? He'd be watching, like, me to bounce a ball. Like, what the hell is he going to say? <laughs> like, I love to see Obama in the bedroom with Michelle. 
trying to convince her to have butt sex for the first time. I think that'd be real special. Like, think about it. Michelle will just get out of the shower. Her hair's all wet. She just got done lotioning up her biceps with some cocoa butter. <laughs> Obama comes over with that swagger he's got. Coaches him, he's like, Oh, uh, Michelle? <laughs> I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> the need to implement a new plan of attack. <laughs> uh, now we're coming from the back. Uh, now, let me be clear. <laughs> This may be a long, painful process. <laughs> and you may be thinking that we can't do it. <laughs> First Lady, I'm here to tell you, yes we can. <laughs> Okay.